Hello there and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Orkshead Chris here, here with you today with a Commander Deck Tech from my Blue White Nope. So as the title you can probably guess what this deck does. Um, I actually wanted to do a deck that basically stops playing as absolutely disgusting as possible Commander. But at the same time I wanted to do something on the new legendary creatures that came out with Rise of the Rivals of Ixlan. So, Without further ado, we'll go straight to our commander, which is Azor the Norbring, which is our commander. He's two mana, two white, and two blue. So, he has flying, and when Azor the Norbring enters the battlefield, each opponent cannot cast instant or sorcery spells during that player's turn, or your turn. And whenever he attacks, you may pay X, white, blue, blue. If you do, you gain X life and draw X cards. He's a 6-6. Six, six. So the fact is, the reason he's a commander, he can stop spell abilities. Um, he's a 6-6 six, six with flying, and the fact that you get card draw from it is very, very nice. So as you can probably tell from um, our commander, we're just going to shut down our opponent completely and just keep hammering them on as much as possible with spells and sorcery. So for sort of like creatures, we're going to be running sort of um, creatures that are going to sort of help the deck as much as possible. So, we're going to. One of our creatures we run is Baral Chief Compliance, which is one mana blue. The so one free, an instant sorcery spells you cast cost one less. And if you counter, you get to draw a card. If you do, you discard a card. So, the fact is, Baral's there just to make things cheaper. And the fact is, if you counter spells, you can then draw cards and then in that as well. So, following that, we've got sort of like Thing in the Ice, which is one mana, one blue. It ends battlefield firstly with four count and time counters on it, and then whenever you cast a sorcery spell, you get to remove a counter. And then if you clock now, you transform it into the Awakened Horror for seven eight. And when it transforms into it, return all non-horror creatures to its own hand. So it's a good board clearance as well, just to swing with the Awakened Horror. And the fact is, if you've got any sort of um, end of battlefield triggers, you can reactivate them as well with this. So following that. As well, we've got sort of like a spell quiller, which is what we use to um, count the spells. What we need. Only downside is you need to keep an eye on him because if he gets eliminated, the opponent gets to cast the spell. Um, following that, just to benefit the instant sorcery, we run Tower of Sky Summon, which is two mana, two blues, two two. And whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, you get to create a two two. Blade, blue drake creature token with flying. So the fact is you get to keep creating um, spawners and then do some really nasty damage as well. So without spells that sort of aid the deck, we've also got um, Gazella the Broken Blade and Bruna the Fading Light. Um, obviously we're going to play it and then use the um, both their flip summons to get Brazella Voice and Moon Nightmares. And the fact is that stops converted mana cost free spells being cast with converted mana cost free or less, which is very, very handy. Um, we've also got Yamaji the bars away. The reason he's in the deck, he, although he is very high mana cost, we're using him just to put um, whenever, because we've got a lot of legendary permanents we're using, so then um, we can return it back to our own our hand and then do some damage with it. So that gives you sort of an idea what sort of creatures we're running. Right, Planeswalkers, we're running just one of, and it's Venseer. And the main reason we're running it, it's just to trigger these end of battlefield triggers again, if we need to, or make anything unblockable, but um, also we can use um, his emblem just to, if we get the emblem off, just to fact that we can exile anything, target permanent, anything we like. So for heavy hitting wise, we're going to we'd be using sort of like Geese of Saint Shraft. Well, the fact is, the fact is we can put attachments on him, and the fact is we can get four four Angel flying with him as well, which is very nice. But we've also got Abyss in Angel of Hope, and the reason she's in the deck is just to give everything um, indestructible. So everything your board then has indestructible is basically next to impossible to remove. So for spell wise. Obviously, we're going to be running a lot of counter spells, so we're running sort of like spell pierce, just to counter sort of target on creature spell, good early sort of spell block spell. 
Um, own downside is it's not so good later because your opponent can just pay two to counter it. Um, running counter spell, which is a, a must. The fact is we can count anything we like with that. The gate just to counter non-creature spells. Spells, so again very handy. And then we're also using render silent as well, which is one white, one white, two blue. Um, counter target spell is controller can't cast spells this turn, so this can shut down their deck very nicely, very quickly. So for sort of like board wipes, we are using um, Wrath of God, which is just to get rid of creatures; they can't be regenerated as well. Um, you also evacuation, which is sort of return all creatures to owner's hands, so just good for reset the board, and also crush the tentacles. But we're going to be mainly paying for surge cost just to get the 8 8 octopus out on the battlefield for it. And also Osera Command. Now, the fact is, we can use this to destroy all creatures with run across three or less or four greater. Or if we've got one, we can destroy all enchantments. We can all artifacts. It's a good destroyed, destroyed creature. So, for defense of spells, spells we're running sort of like dive down which can give our creatures heck proof at plus three defense essence flux just to sort of get rid of the spell we're not playing a lot of spirits but the spirits we can we got we can make full it full um use of this very nicely and very very easily and also cloud shift just to re-trigger in the battle for triggers or to stop any spells that can destroy anything essential so for, sort of like into artifact wise Obviously, we're going to try and take it full advantage, so we're going to use Primal Amulet. So, the fact is, we can use instant, instant sorcery spells cost one less to cast. And the fact is, when you transform it as well, you get to add one minute of any color to it. And the fact is, you can copy it again and do the exact same thing again, which is very, very handy for instant sorcery spells. Mind Lock Orb, just to sort of crush down your opponent and stop them searching their library. The fact is, just beware. When you do this, just make sure there's nothing to calm. You don't want to look in your deck as well, just as to um, make because you will lock yourself out with it as well. I'm also running sort of a Dynavolt Tower as well. The fact is, again, this is sort of um, a recent. This is a color desk card, but the fact is, you can generate a lot of energy and sort of just bolt and bolt your opponent very nicely for five five energy, especially with it as well. The fact is, the amount of Instant sorcery for casting you should do this no problem. So that is sort of just sort of like giving an idea of artifacts. With enchantments, I'm running quite a few of them. So I'm running sort of like anything to sort of like connect Sarlet or stop attacking, sort of like ghostly prison, which stop which is forces your opponent to sort of pay more just to attack. I'm also running Sphere of Safety, which again stops trying to stop them attacking with multiple creatures. Um, and then also I'm running sort of enchant or it's just so I can equip a decent same draft sort of like um, like spectra ward in fact you get protection of all colours colours is very handy instructive ability the fact is when you put this in then sort of like board wipes can't do it the only thing is that can touch it then is either just remove it back to your hand or um, exile it which is very handy Propaganda, which again stops um, any creatures, and also um, sort of like Monastery Siege, just to sort of um, make our spells cost less, or the fact is we can draw an additional card. And then for lands, we're running sort of fetch, basic sort of like fetch, basic fetches and that Eric and everything, just to keep it sort of going and everything. So yeah, that gives you sort of an idea of the deck, just it's meant to just shut down your opponent, get in with sort of like Geese Saint Draft or anything like that, with your commander just get in above and sweep the commander damage. The fact is if they can ask any spells or anything, you should be able to count them very, very easily. Um, well I hope you guys enjoyed this. Enjoyed this. Um, obviously the de deck list will be below the comment below the video. Um, if you've got any suggestions for the deck let please let me know. I mean, this is sort of an idea that I sort of had for quite a while now that we've been sort of looking at. But obviously, this is sort of what I've looked into. Obviously, there could be spells and that that could be a lot better for it. 
So please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and like us. And I'll from me, I will catch you next video. Bye.